Hello Doraemons, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have taken the Unix question. It has been long that we have posted Unix question in the channel. So I have to apologize for my first video because it was become very blur. I don't know what's the problem, maybe some technical reason. And I couldn't change it right now. So I'm just replacing that video for this one and here I'll be explaining about the arc command and some more useful commands like tr, head and sort commands. So this question is really helpful while you're learning that. So let's get started. <clears throat> so here I have the first number Unix content like the sorry, question asked in the IRA and this question has like a lot of things to learn. So let's get started with the awk command first. So the awk command will have the pattern, like it will have the word awk and then it will awk and then it will have a single quotes. So inside this single quotes, only the entire thing will be written. And this within this single quotes, we have three parts. So to just differentiated and putting three curly braces in the first place you will be having a keyword called as begin so this begin uh, just tells the code that it has to begin from this and inside the first bracket we will have a field called fs so fs is nothing but a field separator so if you are new to unix and you might be new to this term which is called as field separator what is this field separator is basically how, how we will differentiate the column data in the tables is we'll have a line in between the column data so here instead of the line you will have different symbols as like here you can see like the pnr number comma date so here we have a line to separate the columns separately so here you will have a semicolon so if this pr number and the corresponding value is one two three four like that and that's how it works so it is instead of line you will have different symbols over here so here you will say begin and separate the fields by using certain symbol so that symbol will be usually mentioned in the question you don't have to worry about it so here in the field separated place you'll be putting uh, double quotes and then within this one you will be writing the field separator symbol so what this initially does is it separates each column data into separate separate fields so here how we will represent each column is not by their column names here we have a different represent representation which is called as dollar one dollar two like that so what this will do means here we will usually represent this column one two three four five as dollar one and then the second column which has the date 10 march 21 and 12 may 21 this entire column data which is considered as dollar two and after that this two one three one two which is represents the number of passengers will be considered as dollar three and then the total amount which is given over here will be considered as dollar four and the end one which is the destination which will be represented by dollar five so here in in the code we'll not call them using the column names but we will use dollar one dollar two dollar three and dollar four and dollar five for these values so i hope this is clear and getting back to the awk command so this is the first part which you'll be writing in the awk command and inside this you can even add like the ignore case things like if you want to compare two strings uh, ignoring the cases you'll write ignore case over here with capital like equals one like equal one means it's nothing but true if it is equal to zero then it will not ignore the case it will compare it with case sensitivity that's it and even if you want to declare any variables you can declare it like count is equal to zero so for array we don't need any declaration for variables and ignore case you'll be writing those things over here in the first place itself for this question we don't need that so i'm just erasing it and then in the second part here this second part is usually considered as a loop so to give you an idea like inside this 
as I'm going to only print the first column numbers which is one two three four five six so here inside this I'm going to just put print let me then change it into small case print and then dollar one and in order to make this work I'm going to just delete this rows because this could cause in like a little confusion when I run it so now if I'm going to run it you can see we have got one two three four sorry I have made a little change okay so here if I run it you will get only one two three four five and also the column name we have got because it takes every like each and every row it totally has seven rows so we are getting seven columns so if you want to ignore any of the rows you can just use nr greater than one so what this nr represents it's the row number so it, if the nr should be greater than one then the first row will be one like this row will be one and this will be two and this third thing will be three and this will be four so if it should be greater than one it should be two so it will consider only these six rows so now i'm going to again show you by adding this n r greater than one and yeah so now we have got only one two three four five six so if i change it to dollar two and run it you can you can get all the uh, dates which is the second column which is dollar two and there are some mistakes over here so please bear with me and yeah so now we have got the dates so this is how we represent like i here i have not run any loop but still it prints every date so that's how it runs the middle column will be running in a loop it will consider one row at a time so if you want to perform any data on one row so you'll be giving those performance in the second part and the third part which is called as the end part so this end part can be optional if you wanted you can use it and if not it is completely not required like it is totally optional if you wanted you can use this i'll tell you when you will use this end section is if we are going to perform any addition or separation or replacing any columns or changing the cases of the data over here and like as it is in the loop if we change and print so you will get a corrupted value like it will be a mess to be clear so here you will just store it in an array or any data type and here in the end part you will run a loop and then you will print it so this end loop end part is not a looping part it is a simple part which is used to print the values so i'll show you the exact answer for this command so that you can understand it clearly okay so now it is done so let's look into the question so here they have sent like write a command to display the month when maximum amount was collected display the month in uppercase and the total amount separated with the space so what we are going to do is based on the month we are going to calculate these values like we are going to add up for march we have 4000 and for may we have 3000 plus 6500 which comes as 9500 and for february we have 18000 and for october we have like two values which is 10000 and 8750 so which comes around 18750 so this october month has the highest amount of sales so this is what you are going to print you are going to print this in the uppercase and also with the maximum amount collected so here we are going to use an array like a dictionary kind of array like where we will use the month name as keys and the values will be added up to it so uh, let me show you the sample input and output so this is the sample input and output here we have the march october same thing and the output is October and 18,750 as I showed you in the like I told you in while going through the example input okay let's get started with the code so what we are I'm going to do here is I've already separated the fields so here two major things we have to keep on mind is here they have told to calculate based on the month but the problem here is we don't have month as a single column 
like as you can see it is one column which is dollar to has this 10 march in 21 so our first job is to make this month as a single column so to make that we have like i'm going to just command out this line so that uh, like this will be a little more clear for you so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a tr command so what this tr command does is it replaces the field separator like here you can consider anything as a field separator even this dash could be considered as field separator so in this code we have used the field separator as semicolon so we cannot use two field separators at a time so we are going to just replace this dash with a semicolon for that we will use this tr command so that's the purpose of tr command here i'm going to just put the symbol which i want to be replaced so i want to replace the dash with the symbol semicolon so this is the syntax for the tr command you write tr and a space within double quotes you will give the symbol which have to be replaced and a space with a symbol which it needs to be replaced so now if i run like you can see here i got 10 semicolon march semicolon 21 whereas in the input i have dash so this is what the purpose of tr command is and now we have to pass the output of this tr command into the op command so unix allows a, it is a very very flexible language it allows to pass output of one command to another command so you have to do what you have to do is just to pipe it so this symbol we call it as pipe which is used to, to pass output of one command as the input of next command so i'm just going to uncomment these lines and here if i print now have a look if i print dollar two just have a look okay like i didn't write anything in the end part so i'm going to just delete it to avoid confusions and run it you can see 10 12 13 11 27 30 when previously i was running i was getting dates which is 10 march 21 now i'm getting only 10 12 13 11 27 and 30 so once you put the field separated in between them it becomes a separate row like a separate column so now this 10 12 13 11 is considered as dollar 2 and march may feb this call month names which is called as dollar 3 so now if I print dollar three, you will get all the month names like this. Okay. So now we are going to just assign this month name as a key to a dictionary and then store the total amount as the key value pairs. So I'll show you how to do it. Here we are not going to like initialize or declare an array as I said Unix is a very very flexible language. So you can just put A of dollar three so dollar three has the month and this amount which is one two three four five six this amount is six so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just assign to show you what will be the values to it and here i'm going to just use the end part like this is where the end part comes in so here I have used to create an array like a dictionary of values and then here if I print I'll not get any output. So here I'm going to just run a loop for i in a like this is how we write the for loop in Unix. It is a very easy and it, which you, we will be using a lot of times. So this is the one you need to memorize. I can say like learning everything is impossible. So just learn which is more important for I in A. And just like how you print a dictionary and print I comma A of I. And now if I run it. You will get March is equal to 4,000, October is 8,750, 8, Feb is 18,000, and May is 6,500. So now I have got, not got the value like October is 18,750 as shown in the output. Why? Because here I have given A of dollar three is equal to dollar six. So it will come A of March is 4,000, A of May is 3,000, and after that when a of may is equal to 6500 it replaces the 3000 with 6500 so here we have got only may as 6500 and same applicable for the october it also happened previously it had 10000 and now it has 8 
8750 so we have to just add up the values so to do that we are going to just add a plus symbol over here as you were aware of like languages like c java and python you might have known this a plus equal to 1 is equal to a equal to a plus 1 the same format so here i'm just given like initially a of march will be 0 and when it gets added like by 4000 0 plus 4000 will be 4000 and same happens for may a 0 plus 3000 is 3000 and 3000 plus 6500 will be 9500 now i'll run and show you so now we have all the values so the next thing is we have to only show like the maximum sales and we also have to like display the name in upper case so to do that i'm again going to use the tr command so i use this opportunity to show you how to change the cases also so here i'm going to just put all the like i have to change all the upper cases into lower cases first so i'm just putting upper and space again lower and a pipe so this will pass uh, like change all the upper cases into lower cases and then it will replace the dash by semicolon so now if i run it you can see like in the input there are capital names but in the output you can see like everything has been changed so this is how i'm going to again in the end i'm going to just pass reversing it lower to upper and we will get the same output as shown in the sample input and output so after this we have now got all the values so now we have to only take the top one the head part which is head and minus 1 so this head command is used to print the top lines which comes on the top so yeah and so yes guys so this is for this video so i hope this is helpful and i'm really sorry for what happened previously it was not expected and it is totally expect unexpected so sorry for that so i'm just replacing that video for this one you can learn from this one and comment down whether you liked the video and if you learn from it uh, like i will be very happy for that and i'll see you in the next one bye bye